welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jens and the Bents, Jens and the Bents, and this is part two. This video goes along with my Paris theme guest bedroom, and now I'm going to show you what's in store for my guest bedroom. I mean, guest bathroom. So yeah, if that's something you want to see, stay tuned. La. Alrighty. So first of all. Let me show you right over here. I have this Bath and Body Works shell with uh, one of these flower bombs. I have a candle. I always have hand sanitizer because some people, you know, you know who you are. You don't like to wash your hands. And also some soap. And then I did clean everything, make it sparkly. And I have some paper towels right here normally. I cut them up. These are just from Costco and then I place them right there nice and neat. But 2022, let's be real. I don't have time to be perfect. Right here I have a little decoration, a seashell. I love the ocean. I love seashells. I have this basket from Target. I have some fragrance free, uh, baby, uh, oh, these are new. Baby cotton, uh, what are these, wipies, to wipe your bomb bombs, your bottom, that's right. And then also some air freshener. And this one, I always make sure, like, I wipe it when I clean the restroom because you don't know, you have bacteria from wiping your booty, and then people just spray this. So you don't know, you have germs right there. So make sure you always disinfect everything. Be careful with what you touch. Always wash your hands. And yeah, this is a clean toilet, and there's my garbage can, and then right here is the toilet paper. And this is not dust, this is just from the residue from the toilet paper. But anyway, moving along, okay, I have some, this is the plunger, and then the toilet brush. And here is the tub. And the soap, uh, my husband's been using that, but normally for our guests, I have a different soap. And then he uses head and shoulders. But let me show you. This is such a cute towel. This is a, like, you can get this at Macy's. It's one of those for your feet. But I also lay out this one. This is a very comfortable, thick rug that I got from Costco. And then I just have my guests put that over this because it's just to keep that dry and that is white to be sanitary. I always wash that and keep that right there for my guest. And I'm so excited to share with you guys this uh, curtain rod. It matches, everything goes, it flows. It goes with this beautiful picture frame that says relax. And then look at over here, I was able to find this sign, this little thing that says relax. And everything just flows and these curtains just go with my Paris theme for my guest bedroom if you missed that don't forget to watch my Paris theme room my guest bedroom and look at these amazing beautiful towels that I was able to find I found these at Marshall's along with the shower curtain but these towels look at it just goes with this bath it's so cute. And then this is the same as my bedding and the guest bedroom. So everything just flows. And then we just painted the walls white. And then over here, we just have a picture of our family. You're not supposed to have pictures of your family in the restroom. But, well, because it's not feng shui, but it just goes with this restroom and we're not looking at each other so um i mean we're not facing you while you're going potty and over here these are my cleaning products i use this toilet bowl cleaner i use the clorox wipes and another shell decor uh this one comes in and out depending right now i have the other one out and then i have some paint this is the color of our restroom it is, well, the whole house, we painted it, um, it's the Ultra White by Bear, and this video is not sponsored, and then those are just for the bugs, I hate bugs, and right here, it smells so good, I have some candles for Christmas, have Halloween stuff, 
all of my decor and the stuff to smell good. Okay, moving along over here for my guest. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, this towel goes right there. It's for your hands in case you don't want to use paper towels. But over here for my guest, I have floss. I always have tons of floss and toothpaste and this gum simulator. I get these free for my dentist. From my dentist, I get more floss and toothbrushes. And these are the samples that I will put in the tub for my guests. And then some more water. I mean, what are these? Flower bomb, um, flower, wallflowers. That's what they're called, wallflowers. And then I will add a soap right there. And let's see, what do I have over here? More candles and some towels for my guest. And I always keep extra towels and what is this? Oh, cotton swaps. I'm running kind of low. Need to refill that. And I always keep one flashlight in every restroom in case of an earthquake. And then the batteries are inside. That's a good tip for you guys. When you live in California, always keep batteries. And right here we have our toilet paper. We love to use Charmin. And I just refill that and we get it at Costco with rebates. Whenever there's rebates, that's when I buy the toilet paper and some feminine products. And oh yeah, this. This Clorox, the bleach and blue. I love using these for our toilets. And then matches in case the batteries run out. And then we'll just do uh, candles and some more baby wipes. These, I like to use them also for my face, like for uh, makeup remover. And then some, what are these? Baggies for the toilet. And that's it. That's it, friends. I hope you guys like my little tour of my guest bedroom. I know you've probably seen it before in my other video, but if you haven't, let me know. Give me your thoughts, your ideas. Let me know if you like how I have that flow that makes it matchy-matchy, but not too matchy-matchy, just a flow of touches, little details that I do for my guest. And yeah, leave a comment below. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Hey friends, so I forgot to mention one thing. So downstairs, I have nothing Paris. And that picture, that picture frame of my family, it's, we're in a park and we're just walking away, all of us holding hands. And I was thinking maybe I should replace it with a Paris, the Eiffel Tower, just to make it flow more. And just because you're not supposed to have pictures of your family in the restroom, it's not feng shui. But I just wanted to mention that. Oh, and then one funny thing, because I always like to share my funny stories. So you guys know I have this burn mark now that... I burned myself for my brother's birthday. I was curling my hair and then I just burned myself. And then the other day we meet with our friends and family and my daughter, she's so cute. She's like, yeah, just in case, just so you guys know, my mom, uh, that's not a hickey on her neck. Uh, she got burned. Yeah, my mom, she's too classy. Like she would never get hickeys. And it's just like so funny, like nobody asked. But it's just funny what kids say and she was just being overprotective. So I thought that was so cute and I just wanted to share that with you because it's a funny story. It's like just so you know if you didn't know just in case like nobody asked. This is not a hickey. It is now like a, a burn mark. It's uh, hopefully it's not permanent damage because I have been um adding ointment and everything else but anyways that's all you guys thank you for watching bye